Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to go get additional watch faces for your Garmin Instinct 2. Now in today's video I'm using the Instinct 2 Solar. Shouldn't matter which version of the Instinct 2 you've got, but it has to be one of the Instinct 2 models. The Instinct 1 models are not uh, optional to be able to connect to Garmin Connect IQ or go find other third-party watch faces. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Obviously, you can use Garmin Connect IQ to go download additional watch faces, either developed by Garmin or developed by other users. But there's other websites out there that you can do the same thing. You can go find watch faces and throw them on your watch. Now, first, let me say I'm not affiliated with Garmin and I'm not affiliated with any of these websites. So I'm going to show you how this works. Do it at your own discretion. I can tell you this, I've been using my watch now for about three weeks. I haven't had any problems with any of these watch faces that I've downloaded from the site we're going to. The reason I go to this site is I haven't been too impressed with the watch faces that are available on Garmin Connect IQ. But this website that we're going to today has some pretty cool ones. You'll see this is a watch face that's delivered from Garmin. Unfortunately, Garmin gives you, to me, a bunch of junky watch faces. There's a couple in here that are pretty practical. There's ones like this that, to me, are just absolutely use useless. So what you do is you go look for a better watch face. The one I downloaded and I've been using is this one. Now, the negative of downloading some of these is a lot of times they're not going to be customizable. So I can't change any of the values that the developer developed. But to me, there's a whole lot more information on this watch face than the one I showed you previously. The site I'm going to, if you're techie enough, you can even develop your own watch faces and download them to the watch. I've played with that a little bit. I've been having some issues, uh, not really with getting the watch face on my watch, but I'm having issues with some of the things lining up the way they did when we developed them. But enough talking. Let's go out to the website. Let's find the watch face, download it. We'll load it on our watch and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my computer. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this. Okay, the site that we're going to today is garmin.watchfacebuilder.com. Again, I'm not affiliated with this website. I basically came across this because I was in one of the Garmin Instinct social media groups and people were talking about it and I figured, okay, I'll go check it out. It is a free site. You have to have an account to be able to design any watch faces. I'm not sure if they make you have an account if you need to download any watch faces, but since it was free, I created an account anyway. I'm not gonna get into designing watch faces. All we're gonna be doing here is looking at the watch faces that are out there, downloading it, throwing it on our watch, and seeing what it looks like. So when you go in, this is exactly what it's gonna look like. You've got a search window here. Now this isn't just for the Instinct. You can download watch faces for the Garmin Phoenix or whatever other models are out there. I'm just going to type in instinct and we're going to see what's out there. You'll notice this is the watch face right here that we looked at earlier on my watch that I've previously downloaded. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to find one that I actually want to download and we'll do a practical example here. I saw one in here earlier that I thought was kind of cool looking. I'm just going through and, and looking. You can see at the bottom what watch is it for and who is the developer what was the date it was put out you can see how many people have looked at it how many people have downloaded it so on and so forth so these all look okay i wanted one that had moon phase no results there we go this is the one i saw earlier Thought it was pretty cool looking. Let's download this one. So I'm going to click on it. I can see all of the different data fields that are on it. I can see the English, uh, the languages that it um, supports. And then all I have to do is basically click on download. Now it's going to throw a zip file on my computer. What we need to do now is we need to go to that zip file. We're going to right click on it and do extract, extract all, just like a regular zip file. It's going to come up and say, hey, where do you want to extract this? I'm going to just extract it to the same folder that I'm in, which is my downloads folder. Now I've got my extracted file. What you're looking for is this PRG file. So now what I'm going to do, give me a second here because it's going to take a second to connect, is I'm plugging in my Garmin Instinct 2 to my computer. My computer has read my Instinct. Let's go ahead and let's map to it. So here we have our Garmin Instinct. You notice if you click on it, it'll basically take you into the uh, information that's sitting on your watch. Your Garmin Instinct essentially is kind of like an external hard drive. It's just got all of your data on it. We're going to open up the Garmin folder and then we're going to open up the apps folder. 
Once I've got apps open, you'll notice any watch faces that you've previously downloaded, you'll see here there's also a PRG file. It's because I've got a watch face already installed. And then you'll see this other PRG file. Well, this is actually from Garmin. This is actually my hunt and fish app that I've downloaded previously on the watch. All we're going to do is take the file that we downloaded and extracted. We're going to drag it over into our Garmin apps folder. Copy to there, we can simply close our Garmin device. We can close our download device. We can really close everything at this point. Now we're going to disconnect our watch and we're gonna see if we've got this watch face on it and see what it looks like. Okay, so at this point, all I've done is disconnect my watch from my computer and you can see there's the watch face that we downloaded. It looks pretty good. It's kind of weird the way it works. When you uh, disconnect your watch from your computer, it'll automatically set the watch face that you most recently downloaded as the current watch face on your watch and that's what we're seeing here. I can still go switch to a different one so if I press and hold the menu button I can choose watch face and I can navigate to any other ones just like we always could. You'll have to delete it though the same way that we did before. When you go into Garmin Connect IQ, at least in my uh, case, I never see these as watch faces because I haven't downloaded them from Garmin Connect IQ. So if you decide someday, oh, I don't want this watch face, you're going to plug your watch back into your computer, go to your uh, Garmin Instinct folder, go to Garmin, go to apps, find the app that you just put in there, simply delete it and it won't be on the watch anymore. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's a quick example of how to go download additional watch faces from non-Garmin Connect IQ websites. Thanks for watching.